So we use um, coding and math in the classroom. So one of the ways that we did for kindergarten, I'll start with kindergarten. Um, what we did is we put some dots on the board and we had them supertized, right? Um, and basically they had to know how many dots are on the board and then stomp on the, the splats to see if they can match that number. So if there was six, they would have to stomp six times. Um, and that was a fun and engaging way for the kindergartners to use this uh, technology. And they also did skip count. Then we also, another activity that we like to do, this is a favorite, is four corners. Every kid knows four corners. So we had them, one way that we utilize this is we had the kids go to each corner and they had 20 seconds to walk around and pick a corner. And then the slats were located in each corner. One of the slats would turn off. The ones that would turn off, the number wizard, me, would come in and give them fluency facts, questions, and if they could answer it, then they get to stay and keep playing the game. If not, they would either join the number wizard or they would sit down and do some activity while they waited. Um, that one's a lot of fun and there's a lot of engagement with that one. And then the last one was one that we actually worked with um, Slats themselves. We were having some issues with um, just getting the kids to do uh, double digit addition in second grade. So they coded um, the Slats and they gave me the code to have two Slats, three Slats in total. Two Slats would give you a number, so they would give you a double digit um, number. The kids would add it and then it, as a self checking, um, activity, they would land on the third slat and would actually see if their answer was correct or not. So that was pretty fun. Um, in the video that she's about to show you, we were doing um, race in place um, and they were racing to see who would have the biggest number of stomps. Um, you'll see the excitement that the kids have and when whoever got the most stomps, they were in teams, would get to answer a math question. Who, you know, it's crazy to think that these kids are super excited to answer a math question, but just adding this element kind of gave that engagement piece and that gamification piece.